Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here, and we are back with another episode of Pascal's Wager. Uh, I did a little bit of the um, altar stuff before I started recording. Excuse me. Um, just mostly so that I can. I boosted up the altar level to 17. Uh, and I wanted to start attributing points, but I didn't attribute all of them yet. Uh, I still have a couple for Benita, uh, but she is just for the sake of the video. Um, she is more predominantly to have her intellect boosted than anything else. I did sort of spread out the points across the board. Uh, her strength wasn't all that bad either, and uh, I did want to put a couple points here and there to boost like stamina and defense. All that sort of good stuff. But we're going to put the final two points into intellect because that's going to be her sort of the thing that powers her up the most. And without any dilly dallying, we can also make our way to Kati. Uh, I also used up all the uh, all the remaining Amundus I had, and I think I had about five chipped. Uh, they basically all went into Benita so that I can round out her abilities because guess who we're taking into the next scenario with us all right so we just left edith katib blood mist forest so let's set our marker for there and we are going to choose Benita. Katib is more of a forested type area. Uh, and I don't know where. Okay, so if that's the bell, is this the way we. Or is it the other way that we leave the, uh, the level on? I ask only because I see these houses here and. Okay, yeah, no, we don't want to proceed to Miss Camp. We don't. We don't need to go there. Alright, fair enough. Let's venture forward. Uh, so let's just get the Benita in introductions out of the way, because the game's probably going to tell us... Oh, you're not going to tell us. Okay. Um, her fighting uh, discipline is somewhat unique. Oh, alter right off the bat. Well, it's a good thing I don't need anything from here. Nope. We'll just get it activated and move on. Uh, I never knew this place was so... Strange, yet so beautiful. It's beautifully strange. A fused glasses. That's the first time I've ever seen something like that. Oh, me too. If someone had told me a few days ago that the entrance to Colossal Grey was here, I would have thought they were a lunatic. But the problem is, how does one find a place that one has never seen or been to before? Good question, Glenn. Who, who does know? Um, <laughs> I was about to say, so for Benita's attack, she sort of has this whip-like weapon, and more of her ability is sort of taking her, I guess, life essence. Oh, here we go. Uh, the weapon Benita is called Moon Monstrance. Uh, using Monstrance consumes the health of Benita and turns it into pure blood. Attacking enemies with Moonstrance will gather pure blood as well. Consume pure blood to perform combat skills. Uh, X to use one of Benita's elixirs to strengthen her. Uh, y will change the effect of the elixir. Uh, Holy Soul will... Oh, no, can we go back? I didn't mean to go forward. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why it happened there. Uh, press Y to... Alright, so Elixir Holy Soul provides a shield, and when breath increased the speed at which Benita regenerates health. So, yeah, she 
she's got some interesting abilities about her. Oh, it's a cute little deer. I think we're going to have to kill it. Oh! And we got him. All right. Big bone. All right, so what do we got? Uh, I also want to try and make these episodes not so long, but uh, I don't know. I, I feel that, like, when I'm playing through a game, I want to sort of give people... Oh, dear! Press and hold right bumper. Reclaim 30 blood to restore health. Okay. I think I should do that. Alright, and then I got some healing back from her. Uh, as I was saying, before I get interrupted yet again, um, <laughs> uh, I wanted to sort of see if uh, I can shorten these down, but I don't want to sort of solve the experience of going through the game either. Oh, jeez! I am not paying attention to any of the enemies going on here. Take that. Uh, so, yeah, let me know if, uh, if you're watching this episode and, uh, Diary of a Soldier, uh, if you want to hit me up in the comments, you know, do you like the lengthy experience where I go through? What is it? A man or a ghost? Maybe a myth. We don't know. Let's find out. As I got interrupted yet again. There must be somewhere nearby. Patience. Patience. My luck is not that bad. <laughs> really? You're in Katib. Your luck is automatically bad. Oh. A new face? Have you also been recruited by the overseer of that thing? Yep. <laughs> Terence. We gotta work on your people skills. You cannot leave people hanging when they ask you questions. Um, asking that may have been offensive. I'm Drake. They call me Lucky Drake. And I'm a courier just like you. THE Drake? Oh, excuse me. I'm ashamed to say this, but... I accidentally triggered the trap of the Martians and lost the hourglass in a panic. Have you seen it? Have we seen an hourglass? We just got here! Why is the hourglass so important to you? Oh, that's what you want to know. What? You haven't met those guys from the church, have you? I am one of those guys from the church. The overseer recruited a group of couriers to search for the seal of the Acab under the sacred tower. But it seems like the place is cursed by the Martians. If you don't want to be turned into mire, you should get out of there before all the sand and hourglass runs out. Why don't you ask for another one from the church? <laughs> Why don't you do something simple like that and stop asking us such stupid questions? I don't have any extra ones. It was not easy for me to snack that one. If you can find it for me, that would be very good for both of us. So you took the only hourglass that they had and you went and lost it. The overseer promised that as long as we find the seal of Jacob, the proxy will grant us amnesty and let us return to the blessed land. Well, get on it! Since the seal of Jacob has once showed up here, it seems that the rumors of the colossal grave in Katib may be true. Ah, all right. <laughs> let's, let's carry on. Uh, because stages are going to get uh, a little bit more... Um, larger, I would think. So let's just go the path that uh, that they set for us. Let's just climb it back up again. Uh, it did seem like we can drop down behind this tree. Whether we should or not is another question. And for now, I will just proceed, proceed as directed. Dear. Let's see if we can get it. I may not be able to get 
health back. All right, fair enough. Stone. Ah, well, we got an altar here anyway, so let's just let's rest. Nothing more we can do here, and uh, at the very least, we can just take care of this guy. Anita's got a rhythm to her attacks as well, so best to just sort of time out what you need. Pick up. Uh, no damage, so why don't we just switch over to the next one and see what we can do with that. Uh, okay, so now we have a, a ladder going up and a ladder going down. Let's do this one first because we have an item here that just needs to be picked up. Good old Imundus. And I think we might have used all the Imundus for Terrence, so any extras will bleed over to the extra characters, and I tend to just sort of zero in on a character and round them out too. Uh, and without getting into spoiler territories, uh, I know. <laughs> sort of. Oh, there's two of them here. Oh, at least I got one. Ah, I am getting ganged up on. Thanks. Didn't want to pick up the item in the middle of that hole. Take that. Wildlife. Collect all the stuff that they dropped. And we'll move on. Uh, so yeah, best to just sort of have uh, another two. Uh, best to have your backup character sort of uh, no 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 <laughs> would you Arr, what are you doing Benina there one day uh, your backup character <laughs> uh, at least pretty um, beefed up uh, I don't know if there'll be enough among this for all the characters. But you know what, um, we can see about that if we get far enough. Uh, okay, so down here, and our first hedging. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's go with Sanity. Right from the get-go. I'm gonna... Hope that helped, Hedgy. Off you go. It's a little abnormal. So why don't we go to Terrence? Terrence is fine. I'll pick up this story bit here. Oh no, potion of wealth. I wonder if that's a potion that will just increase bone fragment drops. Ow! Oh! No, other, other enemy, other enemy. Horse with bat wings. Take the bat. Alright. Oh. Getting, uh, getting careless in, uh, in Katib, but you know what? At least. At least we met our courier. Oh, nope, not courier friend. And enough of that. Let's pick up this and let her. And uh, we can't open the door. All right, we'll have to come back. But it will open up the uh, the later parts of the level so that we can get back here. Now, there was an enemy up there, which we'll have to deal with in a moment. But for now. Nothing this way. Oh, 
You guys are meanies. Execute. there. I'll just wait you out. One more tap and that would have done it. Now we'll take a healing. Don't want to be uh, subject to any more surprises. Okay, let's see what we've got here. guys I yeah I think they feed on sanity that's what they're sort of taking from you oh yeah there <laughs> okay so let's uh, da -da -da -da, left trigger while we're uh, picking up this treasure here let's drop a couple of these get our sanity back Is odd. Thanks, Glenn. All right, maybe we'll speed through this part and we'll also get Benita up and sort of seen as well. All right, and let's get back into. The investigation. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that, but oh well. Uh, throwing knives. Okay, we don't need that because we are full. We not be open from this side, so you know there'll be some some opening later. And we can see that there's an item in there too, so we'll get there eventually. But now we have this, I guess, little village to check out. Records, more big bones. Mundus, which we may be nearing the end of being able to use that for everybody. So, uh, where do we go to now? Oh, we go here. Yeah, we come down this tree. And that gives us another altar. anything that I would want to replace these with right now. Yeah, mutated cloth. <laughs> Already got better stuff on you, so don't need that. Uh, Alright, so I'm just going to check my surroundings. Make sure there isn't any pathways. Oh, hi there.
Couldn't tell whether that enemy was making that strange noise or if something else is about. be kicked down in order for us to climb that ladder. I don't really want to go back to the altar and just rest for the sake of uh, 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 getting my sanity back. Take that. Air glide antler times one. More Amundi. Maybe worth going back to the altar after a couple more of those pickups, though, just so that we can start unlocking abilities for a Benita. All right. Uh, let's see about picking up more stuff. Fire jar. Where's, oh. I was about to say, did you see me? He saw me. So yeah, the Benita's pretty cool that uh, you, know, you somewhat lose some of her. Um, oh, <laughs> like, what made that noise? You did. Um, that you lose some of that health, but after um, you get the enemy, she just sort of recoups it. Most of it, anyway. Saves the uh, the healing for sure. Warrant for arrest. It's a warrant for my arrest? Who knows? Nope. Can't get up there. I think you checked that like three times. <laughs> Still not going to be a way I can get up there, so. Let's switch back over to Terrence. Uh, oh. I got the trippy flowers well, in the last episode. Are there still normal people here in Kitty? Or just people who look normal? We just look normal. We are not normal by any stretch of the imagination. Wait. One of you is trying to hide. But I can smell the blood. You were once a born of the church and had a long history with this place. Who might that be? A talking sunflower? Am I mad? You're a talking owl. <laughs> I just survived in this world in a different way. <laughs> Don't we all? I used to be a priest of the church. Of course you have. Flesh and bones. But that was a long time ago. Nowadays, it is quite strange to stay in the form of a human. <laughs> it is. I wish I was a sunflower too. <laughs> he just said he was a human. It's hard to imagine what has happened to you. So you are a normal person. Only normal people can explore the course of dreams. When the Colossus started to grow into the sacred tower, Martian witches put everyone to sleep, and it was not easy for them to wake from this dream. Interesting. The mist there is not the same as the Sandros. Oh, those are just the little tricks of the Martians. Here are some tips. The Martians believe in the eternal flow of life. The past, the present, and the afterlife. Only by experiencing their three lives can you find the truth. Okay, so that is the clue. So find the past present and future, and I think we've already gotten the past. Pick up. The stone of the present. 
What does it mean? <laughs> you were listening like 30 seconds ago, you would know. I used to be a priest of the church. Uh, where are the other people of the church? They all went back to the sacred tower, and a frightful secret under the tower was discovered. What secret? However, they choose to keep the secret within the sacred tower forever, so no one left. Maybe they all fell into a deep sleep together. <laughs> How awesome. Alright. <laughs> we can leave now. Alright, we'll be back. Uh, so yeah, we can't proceed through there without uh, getting all three stones. So, that should not be too hard. Some more chip to Mundus, who's... There. Oh, no. Nope. Uh, some flare on our heels. And meanwhile, I'm getting pot shotted by people above. to do is get into this house. Uh, Alright, so it may be beneficial to take a healing now. Uh, and do we go up? No, we go around and go up here. Whoa! Uh... Not good, not good. Now, ooh. Not too many people going after me here. Uh, left trigger, this one. Uh, we are going to take the throwing knife. Nope. Let's try that. Let's try that again. Come on. Right. Rod and more bone fragments. Do we have another altar soon? Oof. Two enemies there, and and you again. Chloe, wait for me. Just one more step. One more. One more. <laughs> this is getting tiring, Terrence. Courier, we'll meet again. I'm sorry. I was just thinking of my wife in the Blessed Land. I can't remember her face so clearly. It's too long for her. Ah, uh, yes. Did you find my eyeglass? I did not. No. Still nothing. Indeed, it's not a trivial matter. Sometimes even the lucky can be unlucky. Just like how I'll never know when I'll encounter that damn Martian witchcraft here. The hourglass must be behind the trap. Let us lift it. Yeah, what are you doing about it? it seems like you're just getting me to do your dirty work. Uh, okay. Uh, let's... <laughs> Elixir of Sanity. Let's take one of those. And then... We'll go back to that, but we'll take healing. Uh, we'll get... Our... Uh, actually... There. Come, puppy! Don't mind me, sir! Yay, another health potion. Okay. So, we, at least we can lead any of the uh, side monsters away using this.
which will just leave this fellow. Oh. Kind of rough. But I'll get him just through perseverance. Strange gallbladder. Okay. Uh, if you hadn't already noticed within the earlier seven episodes, you get some weird stuff. But I have a feeling that this will be our future stone. Oh no, Blackwater Rabble. Okay. Not quite yet. Uh, Alright, so our sanity is still good. And we were meaning to go up and collect some of the stuff above the houses here. So let's see if we can do that. And this is what I mean about uh, these levels being a little bit bigger. We haven't even gotten to the... Uh, tower, I think, is in this level as well. There's a huge tower that you need to climb up. Bye! from the upper floor. So, uh, let's go back, take another sanity potion, and uh, we'll go back to the jellyfish jar. Get rid of some of these guys before they uh, cause us more grief than necessary. Uh, okay, so what do we have. Can't get to that section. Does this just loop all the way around? It does, but there is a section where we have to jump off. Is that. Oof. Okay, so there's that dude. You know what? Let's do it. <laughs> Let's go up here. Hi, flower! Hi, flower! Argyll! Uh, and that was one of the... Actually, that's Benita's um, quest, uh, collecting Argyll's for her. Oh, this is where we came in. <laughs> uh, you get turned around so easily here. Alright, we're gonna not bother with you right now. Alright, goes up. Uh, I think we can get over there. Because we need to come down here. Here. And then on this branch. Uh, and then we got two of you guys to deal with. That. And you don't know I'm here. Oh, 
you to you for sniping me. More and more. <laughs> ah, story. So we're picking up all sorts of stuff here. Anonymous letter. Another health potion. I can't get into this settlement. Among us, another among us, among us. Bad humor. That's what you get when you come to my channel. My bad humor. Hi there. Oh no. <laughs> You're gonna see us. Fragment, uh, horsey fellow. Ooh, just in time, so let's take some of this healing uh, and then see if there's anything we missed. There is something at, on the bottom of this. I think we drop down here and then go around, yes. More black water debris. And an overhead strike to take him out. Some big bone. Uh, all right, another drop. Those sibblers seize every opportunity to make some money. Yes, they do. But you know what? That's the Our business here, right? Has been deserted for a long time. Maybe I can give you a good discount. <laughs> Maybe you should. Uh, let's see what he has. Uh, fire jar, crystal. Uh, no recipes, so probably the uh, only thing of importance would be more Amundus. So let's grab. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the chipped ones quite yet. Uh, and then everything else. Uh, debris to enhance trophies. Yes, so that's what the Blackwater debris is for. So it may be worth starting to collect these as well. Let's buy the one he has. Generous, Korea. I wish you success. Great. I wish you good sales. I'm sure I'll be back to buy the rest of your stuff momentarily, or, you know what, later on. Alright, let's go over here. Oh, we got two guys. They're both. Oh, of course they're both facing me. Goodbye. Oh, there's one. And there's the other. Do, 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 do. And what do we have here? Raw stone. Crafting materials, but not the thing we need in order to progress through that misty area. Uh, but we see an altar in the distance. We have to go back to it. You have your back to me. And down you go. That hardly did anything. All right, heal, heal, heal. <laughs> I thought it was one of those snail guys that didn't realize it was an axe knight. And 
again. I had him in a execute position twice. Yeah, we still made it through. Uh, yeah, we're still fighting enemies here. Ow, ow, ow. Go away, you big meanies. All right. Can't hold them off anymore, so we'll do a quick session with the jellyfish, and then once our sanity is back, we'll see if we can just round out the last little bit of these huts. that we haven't been to yet. There's a guy in here. Yes, he's gonna... Oh, 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 this is not... That's... <laughs> Alright, that could have gone a lot better than... Uh, than what I had uh, had done. Uh, come on, up the ladder, let's go. Uh, Stone of the future for fortune telling. Yes. Although I don't want to see the creepy sunflower again, it might be the only one who knows the functions of these stones. <laughs> Considering he's the one that told us about them, I would think so as well. All right, so we have all three stones. Great. Uh, oh, you missed me. And now you're. Well, let's take you out the easy way. Uh, pick up and take a claw and a health potion. Yeah, so they'll actually start dropping trophies if you didn't uh, see that from before. So. Uh, that will make our, I guess, trophy um, increase a little better. Uh, uh, yeah, when we start enhancing and whatever, we can use trophies that we're not using to enhance or garner new abilities on the ones that we do have. And we sort of health that's three, that's always good, and then Lo and behold, our shortcut. Okay, so I think we can go back down to the ground. And maybe we'll just hit the altar and end it here. Uh, we're in a good position where we can progress through that mist at the start of the next episode. There's the altar. Uh, and let's see what we can do in terms of beefing up our characters. That's the plan for a hint. Okay, so yeah, it's telling us we have new trophies, but I don't think there's anything... Oh, Crystal Antler. Just two of the four resistances. Not very good in my, ba in my boat. Uh, stamina 40, poison resistance. Resilience when potions are used. Okay, this one looks a little bit decent. Stamina plus 40 is quite a uh, quite a gain as well. So I'll craft one of these. Yes. Skull of Delirium. Uh, do we could remember if we had that or not? I think we did. Uh, okay, so if we go to say here. Defense 10. I'm not sure if defense is even doing anything for us. Alright, there's. Let's go back. Sanity plus 5. I'm going to put this in its place. Uh, it does offer resilience as well. Is there something that we should be using here? Certain moves from more monsters may have uh, reduced chance to decrease your sanity. Reduced chance. Yeah, probably not as good as what we have currently set up there. 
uh, health 35 and the shadow resistance is pretty good. Okay. Uh, stamina 35. So we're getting 40 off of that one. Uh, is there something here that we should be using instead? And we just lost our defense, so we are basically trading up and getting more abilities on the offset. So since we took one away that had defense plus 10, we're actually getting defense plus 12 now, plus another resistance to elements. So can't argue with that. And just for the sake, yeah, <laughs> all these mutated claws, you know what? Not worth it. So we'll keep that. Back into the altar. Uh, okay, so we haven't, uh, you know what? We're not gonna boost our altar quite yet. Uh, I do want to see. So we have five Amundus, and I think Terrence. Oh no, we do have one that we still need. You know what? Because I think this is actually yeah, it's decreasing the hit that we're taking on health when we're in an abnormal state. So that's worth it. Uh, and that's it. So now we need uh, crystals for our next next set, at least with Terrence. So let's right bumper into Benita. Because uh, then we can start using heavy attack. Uh, dodging is possible during an action. Like I said, we'll just start uh, blood sucking effects. Yes, please. Uh, we'll start grabbing any of these that we can whenever we have the materials for them. Uh, consecutive attacks will strengthen the knee a second attack. Yes! Oh, and that unlocks this one. Increase the amount of pure blood gained from arithmetic attack by four. So yeah, Benita gets pretty powerful once you start unlocking all of these. Uh, and that uses up all the normal Amundus, but I don't think there's any chip left to get for her. And there isn't. So, I think we'll leave it there. Yeah, so, not not a bad start to Katib. Um, we got uh, part ways into the level. We, um, uh, you know, we picked up a lot of stuff, and that will be helpful for the trek ahead. So, uh, always good in my books. If you're enjoying the Pascal's Wager series thus far, uh, be sure to let me know by hitting that like button, leaving me a comment, and subscribing to my channel for more Pascal's Wager and other mobile gaming. This has been Shin Virtual. Game on, have fun, and I'll catch you in the next one.